Hello everyone, I'm Bizi Thapa and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with a new tutorial on domain and hosting for beginners. In this tutorial, I will try to make you understand the basic concept about domain and hosting in a simple terms. So without further ado, let's start our tutorial. So if you are a web designer or web developer or anybody who want to publish your website and make your website accessible uh, in internet then uh, you need to know about this basic as well as most important uh, terms in technology which is domain and hosting and in this video I will uh, try to explain the domain and hosting in very general terms we won't be look, looking or we won't be discussing uh, domain and hosting in very technical terms instead i will try to uh, explain it very simpler way so any individual who is fresher as well as uh, who is not in tech field can understand so let's start with domain so in uh, website development or website designing uh, generally domain name uh, is the name of your website like abc.com facebook.com or google.com etc so that's the name of your website actually uh, you get the ip address so you are paying for the ip address which is a number you get the number and to remember to remember easily that number we get uh, or we order names okay so something like abc.com or xyz.com and hosting is a place where you store your files where you store your files like uh, html css javascript images etc which is very important part of your website so uh, the name of your website is domain and the place or space where you store your files of website is hosting okay so if we look at the definition of domain and hosting here a domain and hosting may look very similar for newbies but in fact they are very different items okay so if you go down here our domain name is your name on the internet imagine you have a phone agenda where you mark each person's name then its phone number you won't probably remember all the phone numbers of everyone right so it's also trying to explain that actually you get a number which is ip address but it is uh, difficult to remember so that's why uh, you save that number in later form or some name form so here it's giving example in phone number it's difficult to remember the number but it is easier to remember name of the person so that's why you save the number as and name right so here so a domain name is like a worldwide agenda whenever you type the url or domain name of a company your browser will query the dns server of the hosting provider then it will obtain websites ip address so we are purchasing ip address but it's difficult to remember ip address that's why uh, to associate with that ip address we uh, add name and this domain name must be unique okay so there cannot be abc.com to two abc.coms otherwise it will generate conflict so every domain name should be unique okay but their extension can be different like abc.com abc.co abc.in abc. Uh, and abc.com.np abc.org so if the extension is different the name can be same but if but the name and extension cannot be same two times or more than one time okay so this is domain uh, if you can read the uh, you can read here as well so a domain name is like a worldwide agenda whenever you type the url of domain uh, or company your browser will query the dns server of the hosting provider and then it will obtain the website's ip address with the ip address in hand your browser will reach the desired website okay so this is domain and if we go down and look at hosting so hosting is the service provided by a web hosting company a web hosting provider owns several big server big web servers connected to the internet a web server is physical big computer having lots of hard disks uh, redundant internal links remote backups and other service services and here the web hosting is necessary to connect to domain name so that your website can be online on the internet it works together with your domain name okay so here so let's not talk about other things so it's talking about explaining the feature of its uh, web hosting company like email 
or other things so generally as i told you earlier so domain name is the name of your website whereas hosting is the place where you store the files of your website okay so those are the domain and hosting in general technical terms so if i have to uh, compare the domain and hosting and website development uh, thing with uh, our, our real life example then i will uh, give an example of uh, creating a physical store physical shop uh, so if we want to start a physical shop of any kind like whether it's a clothes shop or a jewelry shop or any other shop then first thing we need to do is register our uh, company name or register our shop name to a government body right and then after registering the company in government body we need to find a physical store where we can uh, sell our actual product right so first thing we need to register with government body and second thing we need to uh, rent a space uh, to sell the product and the third thing we need is after renting the space we need to decorate it right so we need to add uh, sofas or cupboards or racks uh, or showcases uh, we need to paint we need to add lightings and all lot of those things so we need to make uh, the space more presentable uh, and uh, we need to create spaces where we can store our physical goods right and after uh, designing those spaces we need to add actual products like if we want if we are creating jewelry shop then we will need to bring jewelries and display in showcases so that customer can see and buy the actual product uh, actual products right so uh, we have four stages first it we need to register our company to government body second we need to rent a space third we need to decorate the space and fourth we need to add the physical product so if we compare those uh, creation of physical store with domain hosting and website development then registering a domain name uh, is equivalent to registering a company or organization with government body and then buying a hosting uh, is equivalent to uh, renting a space and third website design is equivalent to designing our physical store or physical shop and fourth is uh, content creation like you may have uh, blogs you may uh, need to add uh, products or category etc uh, that you want to sell and those are equivalent to uh, adding or showcasing your physical products like jewelries and clothes in your physical store okay so this is domain hosting and website development in uh, general terms or in real life uh, example of a physical store okay so hope you understand domain and hosting by now but if you have any confusion uh, related to domain hosting website design and development then please leave a comment below i will i will try to make you uh, understand in other easier storm as possible so after uh, discussing about domain hosting and website development now let's uh, look at the places where you can buy domain and hosting so let's go to the browser and here this is the first one name silo or name silo or name silo however you pronounce it so this is the most recommended uh, place to buy domain and i have been using them from four or five years and i use this place to buy all the domains for myself as well as for my clients because the rate is cheapest than any other places for example there are in or uh, there are many other places to buy domains like hostgator so if you look at hostgator it will say 12.95 dollar per year but this is just for first time payment when you have to renew the next year it usually charges more so here if you see first year it is 12.95 dollar but from renewal time it will be 19.19 dollar so similarly if you go to godaddy.com here it says you will get a dot com domain for 99 rupees this is indian rupees only but for the first year and from the second year they will charge 12.99 if we go to currency converter and check it so 12.99 dollar is actually 15.62 dollars which is more than this one so their price stays same for all the time whether it's first year or second year or third year until and unless the dot com uh, dns uh, 
uh, increases the prices uh, their prices remain the same so the price is just 13.95 and it's very reliable i have been using them so that's why i am recommending you so if you want to buy domain from namesilo then i will put the link in the description you can buy from that link you will have to renew the domain every year so it's not one time payment you will have to pay every year 13.95 dollar okay so this is the most cheapest and most reliable places uh, based on my experience i have been using for a long time for myself as well as for my clients as well okay so now let's go to the hosting providers as well so the best hosting provider i have ever used is hostinger i have used a lot of different hosting like even the name silo they also provide hosting services but uh, i don't like their hosting though it's cheap it's not flexible like sometimes you want to uh, use uh, cloudflare flare for dns they even charge for ssl certificate so that's why i did not like i tried it once and i did not like it so and then i tried another hosting which was a2 hosting but uh, i also did not like that one then i am using hostinger now and i have been using hostinger for myself as well as for my clients it is very fast the hosting is very fast and they have a lot of features you can check it out and it's not that expensive for example if you buy i think uh, if you buy premium hosting uh, so it provides uh, it is uh, for the first time payment it is 2.49 dollar per month and when you renew your hosting account it will be 6.99 per month so and here you can host 100 website but if you want to host only one website then you can click on hosting and go to web hosting and here uh, for only one uh, website it is only 1.99 dollar per month for first time and from the second time it will be 3.99 dollars so if you think you will only be hosting only one website for a long time then you can use this package otherwise you can either choose this one or this one they have almost 100 websites so you can use it for your website as well as or your friends or your family's website or even you can host your client's website I recommend it is because I use it okay so I'll put the link in the description if you want to try this hosting so that's it so explore the hosting provider and domain provider and feel free to uh, buy domain hosting from any places uh, you want but if you trust my suggestion then please use the link in the description to buy domain hosting so that's it uh, for today and I hope uh, you like this video hope uh, it was helpful so hope you have better knowledge about domain and hosting so if you like this video then don't forget to like share and subscribe and if you have any confusion or if you have any question then please feel free to comment them below i'll try to reply as much as possible uh, and i'll see you on next tutorial so that's it for today thank you so much